Welcome back to another lesson on Starseed Academy. My name is Jenny and I help Starseed and Lightworkers from all around the world to heal their energy, to reconnect with their spirit team, and to recognize their earthly mission. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to protect yourself from negative energy. So what is negative energy? Negative energy is energy based in fear or anger. And this can come from a lot of different sources, including within your own energy systems. Do you know all of the energy hidden inside you? Everything that's deep at the bottom of your heart? Most of us have quite a bit of this energy stored up from either past lifetimes or hurts during this lifetime maybe even childhood. And so this is what shadow work can help to alleviate. Shadow work is when we faced our most difficult energies, such as fear, anger, hurt, and we allow these emotions once and for all to come to the surface to be cleared. In order to clear them, we need to feel these emotions fully. Feeling your feelings completely brings them to an end and allows them to release finally, bringing you a sense of healing and peace and making room within you for miracles and more positive, helpful energy to reside. But this negative energy can also come from outside sources, such as the first thing that comes to mind is the news. This is why you shouldn't watch the news. It is saturated in negative, harmful energy geared at keeping people under control through fear, through rage, and through separation. When they separate us from one another, then we are weak and can do nothing. But united together in love, we are a powerful force, and the powers that be don't want that. Negative energy can also be found in entertainment sources that we seek out. Popular television shows and celebrity gossip often center around drama and betrayal and fear and anger and jealousy is a big one. Competitive energy is saturated throughout this world, throughout this 3D matrix, and you see it in almost all entertainment, so choose wisely. Negative energy also exists within other people, and so they can bring that into your own personal space through their emotions and their feelings towards you. Lastly, negative energy can also come from other beings. So other beings that are existing now in other dimensions, but parallel to our dimension. And sometimes that can come through into our own reality. There are a lot of different ways that you can protect yourself from these powerful forces. But I have five ways that I want to talk about today that I've personally tried and find the most powerful, the most helpful to protect yourself from negative forces. Number one is awareness. Develop more awareness within yourself of the energy that surrounds you on a daily basis. Through experiences, you can begin to understand the contrast between negative energy, which can be harmful and draining, neutral energy, which is just neutral and just sits there, and positive, loving energy. If you can learn to feel the difference within, then your developed awareness can let you know when something feels negative or harmful to you. The second way is to become kindness in action. So create the momentum of high vibes in action. You can create this momentum through your own emotions and actions. So become very active with kindness, viewing it as a force that you can send out from yourself, even through your thoughts. Meditate on kindness until it becomes a way of life for you and always becomes your first reaction. Which brings us to step three, which is non-reactivity. No matter how frustrated, shocked, or alarmed a situation can make you feel your reactive energy is either going to hurt you or help you if you cannot muster the reaction of kindness then aim for neutrality let neutrality be the lowest that you fall guard against the reactions of fear and anger which will only allow those negative forces in and give them power you can neutralize any situation with non reactivity and turn any situation in your favor through the reaction of kindness or even more so compassion, which is step number four, 
Feel compassion. Compassion is the most powerful form of love and it will act as a shield for you energetically. You can find your way to unconditional love, which is a blissful state, through the emotion of compassion, through putting yourself in someone else's shoes or circumstance and truly making an effort to understand why it is that they're acting the way they're acting or the situation has become what it has. The greatest, most powerful vibration in the universe is unconditional love. But you have to reach for this state and using compassion to reframe your perspective on situations in your life can help you to get there. Love is not vapid or weak, but it flows through and around situations like a powerful force of water. You may not always understand the path and the actions of others, but we are all brothers and sisters from the same creative source. And just because another's journey doesn't look the same as yours, Maybe it looks crude or even violent to you. It doesn't make it less worthy. It doesn't make them less worthy. Everyone's spiritual journey is divine and everything truly does happen for a reason. Everything has its place and every situation and experience is necessary for the enlightenment of our soul. Be satisfied and involved in the creation of your own life and leave others to theirs if you can't understand it. But know that your perspective is limited to the experiences you've had, so you're not always going to understand others, but that doesn't make them less divine. And the last tip, number five, is to adopt a supportive focus. Do not rise up against a cause in the anti-movement, such as anti-war or anti-religion, or fighting the good fight, because fighting back only creates more fighting, more things to oppose. Instead, flip your perspective to rise up in love, in the pro-movement, pro-peace, pro-equality. This is where you support what you love and focus on what you want to develop and see more of, create more of, and indeed it will. Because where our energy and attention goes, that situation grows and so choose wisely to sum up fill yourself up with love and understanding for this world and for humanity developing compassion work at it until it's your main reaction let it reach out and touch everything around you and why do you think that's the most powerful way to protect yourself from negative energy because no negativity can exist in this light. The light that you emanate of unconditional love and compassion, nothing below neutrality can come into your existence when you become love. This is something that the enlightened masters and saints believed and taught worldwide. The first example that comes to mind is Mother Teresa, who was always spreading love and compassion and always supported pro-energy and never contributed to the anti-movement. Love truly is the answer to every question we ask. And I encourage you to look back in the history of humanity for great examples of this. I'm so grateful that you came and joined me today for another lesson here. Thank you so much for all of your kindness, love, and messages and energy sent. If I've earned your subscription today, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Please also like, comment, or share this video so that others can learn about the power and the protective forces of love. But before we go, as always, I want to remind you to listen to your heart, that quiet voice within. You are so much more than the body you are in. Bye.